So good, good morning. So today we are reviewing a little bit what we did in assignment number one and assignment number five. So in assignment number one, we were trying to solve these kind of problems. So the problem is like, like this. A farmer wants to fence an area of 3 million square feet in a rectangular field and then divide in a half with a fence down the middle parallel to one side. So the objective of the exercise in assignment 1 was to express the amount of fencing needed as a function of one of the dimensions of the field. So these kinds of problems were the problems that worry us. But now in tutorial number 5, we want to actually find some uh, interesting results from the calculus we know, we know. So for example, find the dimensions of the field for which the amount of fencing needed is a minimum. And similarly, we have a problem, which is the problem number two. So problem number two comes with uh, this geometrical situation. So find the dimension of a field for which the amount of fencing needed is a minimum. Sorry, sorry. So number two is two point. I have a I have a, the question of a line, which is two x plus six y equal to one, and I have a point x y in the line. So I have to express the distance from the, that point to the point one minus three. And uh, in assignment number 5, the objective was to find the coordinates of the point x, y such that uh, this point is closest to the point 1 minus 3. Okay, let's go to the solution of problem number 1. Solution of problem number 1 is about a field. So this field uh, want to be so this is the field and we want to put some uh, fence. So this is the fence that we are going to divide by half. And then one of the sides is called x, the length of the side. The length of the other side is called y. And we, as always we have to say explicitly what do we mean by each variable. So this is good to be very clear and then to the end to recover or reinterpret the solution. So what do we know about this problem? So we know for example the area, the area is given, so the area is calculated as the product of x times y is equal to 3 millions of feet squares and uh, also we know a formula to calculate the fencing, the fencing. so first we have to add 3 times x 3 times x because we have 3 sides of the fence that measure x and then plus 2x which are 2, the, the, two, two, two times the, the horizontal side. Good. So we want to minimize exactly the amount of fence which is exactly to minimize this equation. But this equation is in the variables x and y so we have to transform it in variables only say for example in x so we can do a substitution of the value of y which is 3 over x and then what we get is a function f that depends only on x and this function is measuring exactly the amount of fence we need or the amount of fence for, e for every x so now in order to minimize this equation we have to calculate the derivative which is the derivative of f respect to x which is 3 minus 6x squared so remark that this is a derivative in terms of x. Okay, so we want to find the critical point. So first, at x equal to zero, we do not have a derivative. The derivative is not defined. So this is a critical point, and the other critical points uh, are when three minus six x squared is equal to zero, which gives me a result x equal to the square root of two and the minus the square root of two. So where do we have a minimum? So we have to decide which of these points, if any, give us a minimum. For that, we know that these three points divide the interval, divide the real line in intervals. Say, since the domain of our x is from 0 to infinity, then in fact we are only interested in the interval from 0 square root of 2 and square root of 2 to, my, to infinity, but uh, I'm going to work also from minus square root of 2 and 0 because I would like to see how is the change of the function in zero. 
So on one side I'm going to choose x and the other side I'm going to put the sine of x of the derivative, sorry, the sine of the derivative of, of f. So in, if I choose a point in the interval minus the square root of 2, 0, for example, minus 1, I realize that the derivative is equal to a negative number. The same if I choose a point between 0 and the square root of 2, for example, 1, the derivative is a negative number. But if I choose a number which is bigger than the square root of 2, for example, 100, then uh, the derivative becomes positive. This shows that we have a, a change of increasing decreasing, so a minimum in the point square root of 2. So, uh, if we want to find the coordinates uh, of the point in which uh, we get the minimum, is at x is equal to square root of 2, and for find y, we just do the substitution of y equal to 3 over x, and this is equal to 3 over square root of 2, and rationalizing is 3 square root of 2 over 2. So this is the graph of the function that I did with, um, with alpha. And then we realize that in fact the minimum is the point that we predicted with the equations. So what is the minimum amount of fence? So for that we have to evaluate the function in the square root of 2. That gives me that the value uh, of the amount of fence is 6 square root of 2 uh, millions of feet and that's it folks we have to return in words uh, the solution so explaining what my solution means so this is the minimal amount of fence and that's it thank you very much to listen this and I hope this was useful.